John, there's always excitement for the start of a new season, but with this year being the final year of Mesa Rink, is there even more excitement as you guys start uh, the road to uh, Lake Placid? It is. It's been a special place for all of us playing here, and I know it's been a special place for the people that have played in the past, especially that 2014 team. Um, so it means a little bit more, obviously, going into last season here. Um, even though we're excited about the new rink, it's more exciting or just as exciting to play the last year in Mesa Rink. So. What, is it like to, what is it like playing in this rink? It gets loud. Everybody loves it. You can tell every game day, and it's been a special place to play since my first game here. So. What is the sense of this team going into the season? You guys got to the quarterfinals last year. Are you guys ready to take that next step to get to Lake Placid? We are. We were a younger hockey team kind of the past two years, and obviously we have 11 juniors, and, you know, we have seniors leading us too, and we got a good freshman class coming in, and our sophomores are right there with them too. So uh, I think we're more experienced coming into this year, and um, we have expectations to get that by to make – Lake Placid and make the tournament. So you had a great year last year, a lot of awards. What are, what are your expectations uh, for this season for yourself? Uh, just to keep playing the way I've been playing. I mean, I don't take into account the awards as much. Um, it's making or helping this team make our expectations a reality. So unfortunately, hockey world was hit by tragedy recently with the passing of the Goodrow brothers. Uh, uh, do you ever watch Johnny play on TV when he was at Boston College? Or yeah, I never watched him at Boston College, but I've seen you know his highlight reels, and he's always been a fun player to watch, whether he's in Calgary playing for Team USA or in Columbus, and all his highlight highlight reel goals are just spectacular. And to see him and his brother, you know, pass and a tragedy like that, it doesn't sit well with you. And um, I mean, there's really no words. It's unimaginable what happened to him, and it's just sad.